Right, on the bench today, hello by the way, long time no see, we have a very posh Marks and Spencer's bag. There we go. And inside, oh, okay, this is different. Okay, this was not what I was thinking. This is something else. Um, but I was going to do a video on this anyway, because the customer asked for a video on this which is bizarre but customers do ask for strange things from time to time okay this is <laughs> this is a bit different to what i thought it was going to be i thought the other one was going to be a panasonic hi-fi but it's not this is a panasonic um well i'll call it a blu-ray player but Technically, of course, it's not a Blu-ray player. It's um, it's Ultra HD Blu-ray, so it's a 4K Blu-ray player. And the customer says that the DVD tray is not ejecting. So... I'm just wondering if we can do something to make the DVD tray eject. We possibly can. Model number is a DPUB150. A DPUB150. It comes with very weird power supply. If I may be so bold, if I may be so rude. Can I get that in there? Probably. Um, do we have a standby? Well, yes, we've got the standby light, so it's on. And the customer is right. It is not. It is not ejecting. Does it switch off? Hmm. Oh, it does, eventually, and it comes back on pretty quick. But it's not going to switch off. Right. First thing to do, because it's got one of these um, five volt power supplies, is of course, test to see if we do have at least 5 volts. Which I'm sure we do. 5.3 actually, if you can see that, I'm sure you can. Hmm. So, it's either going to be a belt, or it could be the mechanism itself. I mean, I wouldn't expect this to go faulty. Not after there's a year on the back, look. Um, August 2020. You've probably seen that from the, um, from the backside, but yeah, it's August 2020. So I'm surprised that this has, um, Hang on a minute. I think this is faulty. Five volts is not going to be enough to power this up. What does it say on the... Yeah. What does it say on the back? Can you see? 12 volts. <clears throat> and let's just test again what um, 
Sorry, the camera wobbled a bit there. What fine British voltage we are getting on this. You have to stand this meter up. You possibly still can. Oh, yeah, you can stand it up like that. Kind of. Right, let's have a look again. Um, it's going to be center positive. 5.3 so I don't think there's anything wrong with the unit itself I am saying that there's something wrong with the power supply Some bits. don't you think that's a bit flimsy I can't it's a Panasonic they really are, I mean the whole damn unit is flimsy but I just can't believe the power supply. I ain't got my glasses on. Let me get me um let me get my X-ray specs on. Um more than likely what has happened is this has come a cropper. Probably a capacitor inside. And it's only dishing out five volts. Two amps. Oh. Well, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if you can see the light. I'll try and focus it in for you. I mm, don't think it's going to focus that well. But it says it's only 5 volts anyway. Can you see that? Underneath the shadow. It's only five volts. This is the one that the customer gave me. This was in the posh bag. So I'll put it back in the posh bag. I'm going to get one that is 12 volts. Hang on. I know that this is 12 volts because this is for my little mixer. 12 volts, 2 amps. Um, right. That switches off some lights. Okay, didn't really want to do that. Um, I'm running out of sockets to plug this in. I think this is going to turn out to be the easiest fix ever. So let's put that in there. I do know that that's a centre positive as well. I don't have to test. And we get the we get the standby light. So that's fine. That's working. I don't have to plug it into test, do I? Because the fault was DVD tray not ejecting, and now the DVD tray is ejecting. Um, I'll just flog him a cheap power supply for a couple of quid. I didn't think, I mean, this is, well, it's coming up to being four years um, for a 4K Blu ray player, but switches off, switches on. and ejects every time. Didn't even have to take the screws off. Gosh, that was easy. Bring on another one. <laughs>